Hi everyone, I'm Ken from Crypto Trading KS and the inventor of the CTKS method and Borsog Trading. If you're new, a very warm welcome and welcome back KS family. From my 30 plus years in financial markets, I explain the smart money mindset to assist you to be more of a financial blessing to yourself and those you love, gaining real wealth and positive excellence in the process. The main markets in the last session took a hit. Yesterday, we saw consumer confidence unexpectedly took a jump higher. And the markets were very happy with that. What happened today? Well, in the last session, final GDP quarter on quarter came in higher than anticipated, just coming along with consumer confidence. But the markets are down today. Unemployment claims also were less than anticipated, showing a very, very strong labor market. We've spoken about this a lot. In the short term, markets can go up and down. Price is always moving in a wave, but the underpinning philosophy inside the market right now, things are pretty hot and they need to cool down. And we can see the probability of 50 basis point increase has increased from 27.9% yesterday to 31% today. It's not surprising that we're getting headlines like this. US stocks decline as data to keep Fed aggressive. Core PCE price index data is coming out today. Tight labor market is a big problem for core PCE, as is real estate. Inflation perplexes holiday sales analysts muddying forecasts for 2023. Consistent holiday sales figures have been difficult to pin down, blurring forecasts for the year to come. With that background in mind, let's run the numbers. Bitcoin is currently up 0.04% to 16,766. Ethereum is up 0.68% to 1218. In other news, Sam Bankman not freed arrives in New York court to face FTX fraud charges. And new FTX charges against Caroline Ellison and Gary Wang show that the US is going after the deputies of FTX as well. Caroline Ellison, associate of FTX founder Sam Bankman not freed pleads guilty to criminal charges. And the former FTX executive Gary Wang pleaded guilty for roles in fraud leading to the exchange's collapse. Kevin O'Leary is not going to be happy because the Shark Tank's Kevin O'Leary pointed the finger at Binance for the FTX collapse. Sorry, Kevin, it was fraud on the part of FTX, nothing to do with Binance. Binance just uncovered it more quickly and in fact probably stopped the contagion from getting worse. In the past session, we saw the VIX spike up, but yet get a little bit squashed down. Is the VIX forming a higher low? This is a low, that's a low, but this one is higher, so that's a higher low. It could indicate a trend change. If we get a trend change in the VIX, if the VIX starts to spike up, we're going to see the major indices melt. We are prepared and not scared. That's why we do our daily three-dimensional risk management code. It's all about being prepared for the market. A lot of people, when they get into financial markets, they crave certainty. There's only probability. And you don't need certainty. You need a strategy to profit from uncertainty. When there's certainty, the profits have already passed. The fastest and easiest way to gain more certainty and more probability inside any financial market is through the CTKS method, which is a standards-based process to reveal smart money buy and sell levels from any price chart. When people look at price without the CTKS method, they do not know where the market structure actually is. Let's turn quickly to gold. We saw gold absolutely rally up and when you look at this, it looks like it's bypassing a level of resistance. It looks like it can only go up from here. But what do we look at when we see market structure? The CTKS method standard certification process reveals market structure. And when we're looking at gold, 
currently trading at 1890 cents we can see that there were some very very steep market structural sell levels the smart money was coming up here and selling at 1829 through the range to 1832.20 and this sell pressure was significant enough to push gold down through a smart money buy level what happens when that happens the next smart money buy level becomes magnetized if you were simply looking at a chart like this, you can't understand where market structure truly is. Market structure is how to buy and how to sell and how long to hold as well. One thing to also bear in mind is the US dollar currency index, the DXY. The DXY is currently trading at 104.388 and what we've seen the smart money support level has been very very well held at 104.113 and 103.905 we're witnessing a short-term trend change and masterclass students using the ec method you can actually see that it's overcome resistance twice the probability not the certainty but the probability is that the dxy will go higher with market structure and the CTKS method, it takes all the stress out of the markets. You're not guessing anymore. You're knowing. How can you learn about the CTKS method and how to actually draw up these levels? You can pop across to www.ctksmethod.org and learn the standards for yourself. It's literally learn once, apply for a lifetime to think like smart money and profit like them too. You're joining the 5% who know and leaving the 95% who guess behind. And it's applicable to everything. We did an in-depth dive on Jerome Powell's speech on November the 30th, 2022. And remembering core PCE inflation is coming out today. And what did Jerome say? He would focus his comments on core PCE inflation because it gives a much more accurate indicator of where overall inflation is headed. What the Fed does impacts the US market indices and of course impacts the entire world. The bond market is already showing the signals that further rate increases are likely and rate increases that are higher than anticipated. And the federal funds rate prediction for April 2023 is currently 4.825%. And you can see the two year, the 20 year, the five year, the 30 year and the 10 year all starting to change trend. And when the yields come up, what does that do to the markets? Well, the markets don't really like that too much. We're observing an inverse correlation currently between the major indices and yields. Yields go up, the markets come down pretty much like that. Yields come down, the markets go up. But you can see here, there are times when the market turns around because yields are turning around as well. Literally, the market is pricing in increasing yields. So we do expect yields to come up and the DXY to come up as well. We know that Bitcoin cannot escape the stock market's gravity, but no alt can escape Bitcoin's gravity either. That's why we do this multi-tiered approach, because we are professionals. We need to know what other people do not know and look at what they're not looking at. Yesterday, we drew a potential path where Bitcoin's price action could go, and it didn't fit it directly but it did fit it overall in terms of the market momentum and what we saw was that actually bitcoin came down to a smart money buy level at 16661 and it got caught there this is why it's so important to know objective dynamic market structure or odms and you learn that through the ctks method standard certification process so where are we headed tomorrow the options market is anticipating upward price momentum around the $17,000 mark and then coming down to around the $16,500 mark the following day. Turning to total crypto market capitalization, we can see currently it's $769.3 billion. There's market-wide smart money sell levels at $799 billion and $808 billion as well. When looking at the Bitcoin longs and the Bitcoin shorts, the shorts are this red line. And Masterclass students, you receive my live chart in TG34. 
the longs are this green line here. What did we see? The longs got hit really badly and now the shorts are getting hit really badly as well. Both sides are lacking any real conviction about stepping in and going for it. Liquidations across the past 24 hours were 34.56 million across 11,985 positions. That's really, really light. And when looking at 24-hour total liquidations, 53% were long. 12-hour total liquidations, 56% long. Over the past four hours, 76% short. And the past hour, 89% short. So we can see there's definitely been a short squeeze and we can see that by how price took off. That's what a short squeeze looks like. That there is the short squeeze and this is a long squeeze. Short and longs cause big, big spikes. In crypto news, Sam Bankman not freed sent home after his parents put up their house to cover his astronomical bail bond which is $250 million. They must have quite some house. Alameda's Caroline Allison escapes potential 110-year prison term via plea deal, and she could be released on a just a mere $250,000 bail, but she's not allowed to leave the US. Allison was accused of seven counts. Two accusing her of committing wire fraud on customers of FTX, and engaging or conspiring to do so. And another two alleged she actually committed wire fraud on the lenders of Alameda Research and conspired to do so. But the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of the New York Court said, basically, don't worry about it, Caroline. If you just tell us everything you know, you can walk scot-free, apart from a $250,000 bail. A survey from blockchain.com 40% of survey respondents plan to buy crypto in 2023. Brazilian president signs crypto bill into law. The law includes many digital currencies under the definition of legal payment methods in Brazil and established a licensing regime for virtual asset service providers or VASPs. According to the text of the bill, Brazilian residents will not be able to use cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin as legal tender in the country, as is the case in El Salvador. The crypto law will take effect in 180 days, likely in June 2023. Stablecoin settlements can surpass all major card networks in 2023. That's not going to make Visa and Mastercard or Amex very, very happy. It's going to make them sad. It's pretty interesting just putting our senior executive caps on for a minute. If you were a CEO of Visa or MasterCard or Amex, you would say, huh, these stable coins, I need, either need to get into that or I need to crush that. And what about if you are a high ranking government official, something like, oh, I don't know, Jerome, you would probably say, oh, there's a bit of business in there. I better regulate that to protect people. Back in the early 90s, people completely misunderstood what the internet was. And there was so much regulation that was thrown on it. The governments tried to kill it because it had impacted directly the postal and communication services. Now we've got Web 3.0 impacting the banks. Also impacting the government again, because the government back then in the 90s actually owned and controlled the postal services. And in some countries, it still does. The government failed to kill the internet back in the early 90s. They're failing again to kill the next internet of value, which is crypto. Looking at the greatest gainers in the top 100 past 24 hours, USDN, at their up top, for once, good on you, USDN, Lunacy, Doge, HT, Axie Infinity, The Graph, and Theta. It looks like Helium's bubble popped in the last 24 hours. It just shot up crazily, and now it's down 11.52%. Price is always moving in a wave. Followed by Ton, Zec, LDO, XTC, GMX, and OKB in the greatest losers in the past 24 hours. 
Turning to the major cryptos, we can see Bitcoin over this period is up 0.48 percent. Ethereum looking a little bit weaker, down 0.42 percent. We can see the stable coins USDT, USDC, and BUSD. We're just keeping our eye on these stable coins at the moment. And why are we doing that? Because it as actually gives us a measure of overall health in the crypto market. I do deep dives on this in the masterclass. We can see BNB is down 2.62%. XRP is up 0.84%. Go XRP. Look at Doge. Doge is a happy dog today. Up 3.61%. When we look at stablecoin market capitalization, we can see still that Binance is under negative price momentum. What does this basically mean? A lot of flack was caught by Binance, especially through Kevin O'Leary, which said, you caused FTX, not Sam Bankman's criminal conduct. No, that's got nothing to do with it. You did it, Binance, because you didn't buy them. And what we can actually see is that the stable coins flowing out of BUSD are flowing back into Tether. Tether would be very, very ha happy about this. And also not so much into USDC, not into Circle. So Tether is doing quite well out of this escapade. We'll have a look at the next top cryptos, but just remember this pattern and Bitcoin being up 0.54%. We can see ADA continues to suffer, down 15.33%. Matic is down 10.7%. DOT down nearly 14.5%. Tron doing quite nicely, up 1.18%. What about SHIB? Just getting some of Doge's power, but not too much, up 1.47%. Litecoin not feeling so light at the moment, down 5.2%. And poor old Solana. Solana is down 11.93%. No matter what these particular cryptos are doing, you want to keep your eye on Bitcoin's gravitational movement. When Bitcoin comes down, what happens to the beloved alt you're looking at? When it comes up, what happens to your beloved alt? Everybody likes different alts. And one thing that I want to mention in the CTKS method service, please let me know what alts you would like me to cover off. Just leave a note in YouTube. And of course, it doesn't have to be cryptos. It can be stocks. It can be indices. It can be anything. What my focus is behind the CTKS method service that will be made available through ctksmethod.org is to actually really, really help you to get the maximum value you can. This is what will be released and this is what is coming soon. But I'm always seeking to maximize the absolute best value for you. So please let me know what you would like to see in there if it's not covered up there already. And you can lock in the institutional grade analysis of the CTKS method service by just registering your name and email and clicking this lifetime discount. And it will just apply as long as you keep the service active, just at 39 per month. This is for the institutional level and the institutional level will be worth way, way more than 99 per month. All you need to do is just come across to ctksmethod.org and just lock in that lifetime discount. It doesn't mean that you have to buy it, but you at least locked it in and no payments are due until the service is active and you just decide what you want to do then. But the concept behind this service, the price of 39 per month will never ever increase. As a community, we've focused on positive excellence, which brings sustainable fulfillment, meaning happiness and success. What you will find out, a lot of people just focus on money until they've got it, and then they figure out it doesn't really do that much. It may sound strange to say that, but it's actually very, very true. You can buy the latest, most expensive phone, the latest, most expensive car, but over a period of time, a phone just becomes a phone. A car just becomes a car. That's simply why focusing on money doesn't create happiness. It never can. We focus on the process instead of the money. That makes you wealthy from the very start. The other thing, you can't take it with you. But what you can take is what you give. For example, are you positively impacting the lives of the people around you? 
through your kindness, through your happiness, through your gratitude. These are really important things to consider at this particular point in time. A lot of times life doesn't go for us, but that doesn't mean we need to be against ourselves or against others. We've not spoken before about empathy and love, but at a time like this, I think it's really important to talk about that. How important is empathy and love to your overall success? It would be a great thing to chat about. I'm really looking forward to reading your comments. Part of the CTKS method is the CTKS Creed, which primes our mind for profitability and happiness in life. These are a series of positive affirmation statements you just say to yourself. They're important because they get rid of fear and install courage. Acting on fear creates the fear. We don't want to do that. We need to act with courage but also knowledge. Here is the creed. I know the universe wants me to succeed. Every day I show kindness, integrity, and gratitude. I know opportunities and life reset daily. I am worthy. I go slow to go fast. I start small and scale with Borsog. Life pullbacks give me the strength for the next life rally. I am dedicated and committed. I win or learn and never blame. And I never let a problem beat me because I solve it with positive excellence. If you have family or friends who could benefit from positive excellence and what we do here each and every day, please introduce them to our community by sharing a video. We'd love to see them here. We have one of the best communities on YouTube. Stay safe out there, my friends. Take care and see you tomorrow. Bye for now.